Hey there, welcome to day 27 of our free August 2021 Get Up and Go Challenge. Today we're going to talk about contribution. Contribution soap, the soap framework, with respect to the area and aspect of our life that is contribution. Again, like all the areas and aspects, you get to decide and define what's included in that. What's contribution? I define it as my impact on the world, my impact on things outside of me. It might be my family, it might be my friends, it might be through relationships, it might be through donations, it might be through charitable work, it might be through causes that I support, maybe even causes that I start and I run with. So you decide and define what is contribution for you. Uh, I believe, personally, that we should take care of those we love and care about first, and then other people as well, and other or animals or the environment or things that we believe in. You know, we need to, to set up our lives first, then we need to set up and take care of the people we love and care about, then the causes and the things that we love and care about. So first, define contribution for you. Our tool today is going to be kind of a unique one, and billionaires have them, politicians have them, countries have them, states have them, uh, brands have them, people I love and care about have them, and I believe that each one of us has one in us, but we might not have identified it yet. And that is our motto, our mantra, our battle cry, our uh, the things we stand for, the things we stand against. The, our, our core, we talked about core beliefs and core values, but it takes that a step further. Think of Nike, for example. They have just do it. Is that just a slogan or is it the way they do everything in their organization? ClickFunnels has, you're just one funnel away. That is like a battle cry and a driving idea that people can get behind and decide, oh, I just need to come up with one funnel that's going to change my life. I just need to do it. I need to get out, get on my shoes and get moving. My Aunt Robbie had a slogan and a motto, and she actually continues to live by this, but I remember they were on a camping trip, and she told my grandpa, what's money compared to fun? And that has stuck with her to this day. Uh, my dad used to say, hugs aren't any good if you keep them, and that was truly who he was as, as a human being. He also said there's no such thing as can't, which is also who he was as a human being. But we have things that we say, things that are inherent to us and I'll share mine at the end of the call because I've, I've worked on it for a long time I'm like what is me what epitomizes me and then so a lot of things I stand for there's a lot of things I stand against and the more you you listen to me or hear me or are in my world the more of those things that are revealed and that's how it should be with people but uh, billionaires have mottos and mantras and beliefs and everybody can see them whether they're demonstrating them or not um, religions as well so why shouldn't you I say we absolutely positively should and how does this help us in our area of contribution because one of the biggest ways you can influence other people and have a positive impact on the world make the world a better place please that's the, the goal for all of us or it should be the goal for many of us or all of us uh, how do you apply this to the soap framework then well we start by thinking about what is our current situation our current story do you have a motto do you have a mantra do you have a code of conduct for yourself do you you know have things that you believe in I mean I I absolutely positively believe in continuous improvement always getting better knowing that whenever I start something out I'm probably gonna stink at it but if I believe in it and it's important for me and it feels right for me I'm gonna practice and get better at it and become an, an, an expert in that and continually improve at it things like communication we have to you know we're, we're not born knowing how to communicate except for ah, screaming and crying and we have to learn everything along the way. So I think that's a great example of continuous improvement. We, we don't know how to walk when we start, but we start walking, then we run, then we jog, then we bike, and we do all kinds of other ways to get around. We learn how to drive a car. Um, that's a continuous improvement. So I believe in things like that. So what's my current story, but what do I really want it to be? I have a much bigger life purpose. I guess this is the point. What am I here for? What is my real purpose and reason for being a part of the planet that's the question we want to ask ourselves so what is the story of what what are we doing right now maybe with COVID and everything we are just barely getting by and surviving and taking care of our family and those we don't care about <coughs> excuse me I did catch a cold this week from my amazing little granddaughter actually I think I caught it last week but it just really hit me this week uh, so what is the situation what do I want it to be that's our ask. And we can use our mantra, our motto, 
our, our values, our beliefs, our code of conduct, what we stand for, what we stand against to help us to clarify those things. Then we need to look at what are the options. So what do I want my, my impact in the world to be? I personally, and this is a biggie, want to positively impact the lives of a billion people. How am I going to do that? I have no idea yet, but I'm working on it a little bit every day. So what are the possible options that I could do that? What are the possible ways that I could do that? Well, number one is to create and, and uh, share my code of conduct, my mantra, the things I believe in, the things I stand for, the things I stand against, and be vocal and use my voice or my platforms, whatever platforms I might have, to do that. I could start an organization. I can find like-minded people and get them to join me. I can do all kinds of things. And if we've got a clear message of what we stand for, the people that are for us will get behind us and help us to share that with the world. And the people that are against it, they'll just either leave us alone or they'll attack us, which brings more attention to what it is that we're doing and makes a bigger impact on the world. That's why I say pick something good and make the world a better place. But fight against things that are bad. I have a friend, Steve Larson, who is the capitalist pig, and he stands for capitalism and against socialism. It's a very clear, non-political, but uh, philosophical stance, and he does it on purpose to attract the people that he wants to work with, who are entrepreneurs and small business owners and, and online uh, entrepreneurs, and repel the people that that don't want to work for it, that don't want to and don't believe in capitalism. So it's a very clear delineation. If you're either for him or against him, either love him or hate him. A lot of people uh, take that stance. I learned that from Jim Edwards a long, long time ago, even before I was in the online world, that love me, hate me, there's no money in the middle. So you want to take a stance and people are either gonna love you or hate you, but they're not gonna make you know, you're not gonna make any money if you just be milk toast and go along with everybody and try to win everybody over all the time because if you're talking to everybody you're talking to nobody uh, so then we can pick an alternative what are we gonna pick what can we do based on what our our stance is we'll know what action to take I always know what action to take I might try to tell myself I don't know but we always know what we need to do we're just afraid of what might happen or we're afraid to take that step but the only way to overcome the fear of taking that step is to actually take that step and then our P how do we know if we are on the right track? How do we know if we're making progress? How do we know if our motto and our mantra and our code of conduct and things are working for us? Well, based on the feedback that we get from people, the messages, the, uh, the texts, the, the people will tell us if we're on track or not, and, if, and we'll be able to tell, are we attracting the right people to our cause or not? We have to have a cause. We have to have something that we stand for, that we believe in. Now, my motto and what our action item today is to just Think about this as you go through the SOAP framework, thinking about the area of your life of contribution. And then share in the comments below. It's a it's a participant's choice day to day for action. I mean, you can choose your motto, your mantra, something you stand for, something you want to stand against, whether you're doing it yet or not. Just pick something and test it out. Start testing it out. Mine, for example, is my motto is be loving, love being, be you. And that means a whole lot to me. I didn't just come up with that overnight. I came up with it over a like probably a five to ten year period and it changed and morphed and became different things. But it really speaks to who I am and what impact I want to have on the world. Be loving, love being, be you. you know, be loving, treat other people the way you want to be treated. Love being yourself and then just be yourself no matter what. Some people will love you, some people will hate you and there's nothing in the middle because those people don't matter. Only the people that love us matter. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with day 28 of our framework. And we are going to talk about communication. So, and I'm going to go a different way with it this time. So let's get ready. Let's do this. Try it on for size. Start thinking of how you can positively impact the rest of the world.